Hi, right, I'm on. and this is a video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to more Geometry Dash. Today, we're going to be checking out a couple of insane demons made by a newer creator that has caught a lot of people's attention for being very similar to Silenox and 2003 Devon, uh, creating this, like, factory-style, art-esque style of creating, which is a very, very popular form of creating as of late. And he's been pulling it off pretty well from what I can tell. I've not actually fully checked out the level, but I've gotten a lot of questions about, hey, Aeon, when are you going to play the level by GD Senmaron? So we're going to be checking out Macadam Quarry today. And if we have time, we're going to be trying out Marshy Meadows as well, or I might be checking it out in a later video. It really depends. I don't know how much time I have. It's early on in the morning, so we're, we're going to see how it goes. But I've heard these levels aren't too difficult, so hopefully they won't take too long. But we're going to start off with Macadam Quarry by GD Semeron, and hopefully it lives up to expectations because I've heard a lot of very positive things about it. So we're going to check it out. We're going to have some fun and try and beat this level. So let's hop into it. But before we start the video, you guys should all hit the sub button so we can have 100,000 subs. That'll be awesome because at 100,000, I will, um, yeah, subscribe. I don't really know what expectations I have for this. These are good textures. I'm not going to lie. Like the textures in the, the blocks here are really cool. Like there's just a lot of very high quality detail in this. I don't know how else to explain it. It just looks very well detailed and it's really cool to see okay oh i changed gravity there how does this work hello uh land early on the platform then hit once the orb is okay i got you got you got you ah okay that's a cool gimmick i like that that's interesting that is a very very cool gimmick overall i don't know how to put words onto it but like this level is cool i'm probably not supposed to jump there i don't know if i'm supposed to jump there or not but that feels this feels kind of inconsistent I, I i don't know how to explain it i don't know how to explain it i just did not feel like it worked properly like, it wasn't bad by any means, it just felt awkward, I suppose. Yeah, so far, there's a lot of, like, really weird, awkward things. One of the things I do not like about Devin's game, or levels in particular, which I definitely can sense getting, or definitely can sense a lot of inspiration from in this level, is the fact that Devin's levels have very weird gameplay that is made specifically with his muscle memory in mind, which makes them very awkward, which is why I'm not the biggest Devin fan personally. But yeah, you can definitely tell the, the Devin inspirations particular with this level. Uh, not that it's a ne that necessarily a bad thing, it's just the level plays weird, if that makes sense. Cool. Very, very cool level. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know how to feel about it. There's definitely some awkward bits in it, but there's also some parts that are, like, really, really good. I think it's gonna take a little bit of time to, like, learn and practice and get comfortable with, but overall, this is a very cool level. I think the visuals in this is very, very good. Definitely deserving of the epic rating. Uh, the only th issue I have is that some of the gameplay is kind of awkward, but, hey, it's not too bad, right? It shouldn't take too long to learn and get comfortable with, I'm guessing. Okay, so I think this is, like where I have to get the most practice because this is definitely the part that I find the not the worst but it's definitely the part that I find the most awkward yeah because like I, I I don't always hit this so this part this little desert part right here feels really it, it feels almost it feels kind of buggy, honestly. Which is, I find the problem with levels that are inspired by Devin, and Devin's level in particular, is that it's so distinctly his muscle memory that it just becomes kind of awkward. Okay, uh, yeah, no, I feel like this is definitely a level that I can grow to really like. I just have to figure out that one desert part. Once I figure out the desert part, I feel like it's gonna be all GG's. This level pretty sick so far. Sure, there's a couple of things that I don't like about it, specifically this part right here. But it's definitely not like horrible. There's just a couple like awkward things. But once I get past those awkward things, this level's pretty fun, not gonna lie. Like it's very enjoyable past those couple awkward things. I'm gonna try and figure that out with uh, speed hacks real fast. Because there's something about that part in particular that I don't really fully get, I suppose. Yeah, okay, so. 
Because what happens if you hit this too early? You can't hit it too early, right? That, 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 that's a mess up I made. And if you hit it too late... No, you can, you can go pretty late on it. You can definitely go pretty late on it. Okay. I think I, I think I have enough understanding of the level to like just hop into it inside try and see if we can beat it. This is a really good level. Besides the awkward bit in the the desert part, I think this level is very good. There's just a couple things in it that I just I, I don't know, they're kinda I'm kinda iffy about them. But other than that though, this level is very good so far. It's a very solid level overall. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I died of that. I passed all the hard parts. That was a really dumb death, but hey, it's whatever. I just entirely forgot what to do. I find that little wave bit there to be kind of awkward. Or not the wave, but the ship bit right there with the, the blue orb shooting up. It's a cool little concept, not gonna lie. But I do find it a little bit awkward. But I feel like that's kind of the name of the game with this level, just a little bit awkward. A lot of it is very good, but a lot of it is also kind of like, kind of awkward, you know? Ah, uh, really? I died to the, the robot? Come on, dude. I should have beaten it there, but hey, it's whatever. I'm pretty sure I can beat this pretty fast. Uh, I'm very confident with myself about this level. It's a very raw skill-based level, all in all. But I shouldn't have too many issues beating this. But yeah, overall, this is a solid level. Very solid level. It's awesome to see new creators try this kind of style, because we've only really had, like, two creators do this kind of style. That being Xylanox and uh, Devin. It's cool to see another one. Ooh, that's an interesting death. Uh, not sure why that happened. I feel like I hit this too early so that I bonked on this corner here. That's not a good thing to happen. I mean, it might be int intentional that that's supposed to happen so you don't hit those black orbs too early. But considering the fact that you have to click them fast, that's... Hmm. I'm unsure how I feel about that as a uh, death. Ooh. I'm getting my, my ass whooped a little bit at, towards the end there. That's not good. Nice. Very cool. Very good level overall. Very solid level. I, I enjoyed that. That was a good level. That took me about 15 minutes. For an in insane demon, that's very easy. Uh, only took about 200 attempts. Solid level overall. Uh, yeah, that's good. I enjoyed that actually quite a lot. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Uh, because we have time, I didn't expect that to take so short. Let's do Martian Meadows as well. Uh, I've not seen this level. I've just heard. I just saw that it released. So hopefully is not too bad. Okay, so initially I didn't understand the duel, but now I understand the duel. Also, that's me. <laughs> I find that kind of funny. There is me there. Anyway, yeah, I initially thought I wasn't gonna actually be able to beat this because I didn't understand the duel. I watched back as I was editing my video when I realized it said let go early and I thought it was like, don't let go early. And I just realized, wow, I'm an idiot. So uh, we're, we're gonna do this. Yeah, no, there's just a couple things about this that I am not a huge fan of. I think this is definitely worse than Macadam, I will have to say. I think Macadam Quarry is just overall a more polished level. So while it still has its awkward parts, I think that gameplay in this is very unpolished.
Oh, I fluked it. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. I was so worried that I was going to struggle with this for a really long time, but thank god I fluked this level. That took a little bit longer, 379 attempts. Uh, yeah, no, that's definitely an insane demon. I didn't like this as much, but I still think it was a decent level overall. Uh, I just thought the gameplay in this was very awkward, therefore not a huge fan, but overall very good. Uh, Macadam Quarry, very, very good. Marshy Meadows, not the best. I thought the gameplay was really awkward. I really like the visuals. I think the, the aesthetic and the vibe that Marshy Meadows pulls off is very, very solid. Just not a huge fan of the, the gameplay personally. Good stuff. Samurai, I think has a lot of potential as a creator. I'm very excited to see where they go in the future. So yeah, good stuff, Simran. Keep up the good work, and I'm excited to see what you have to do in the future. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, that just gonna know the drill by now. Thank you for making my day better. Hope my day was a little bit better too. Eat your green, stay healthy, stay hydrated. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.